Okay, today's video is for you anime fans. So, I've never been a massive anime fan. I've always respected it. I always like, I like art, so I've always respected just looking at anime. Um, but there's been very few animes in my life that really grab me and be like, you need to watch me. Um, one of them was a series, an older series called School Rumble. I fell in love with that series. Just some of the characters in it were fantastic. And in more recent times, um, I've grown to love the show, My Hero Academia. Um, Hence that painting at the back there. Um, I absolutely love that show, it's amazing. So today, I'm going to be unboxing some cool stuff that's My Hero Academia related. So, let's do this! Okay, so what will be the mystery thing that I'll be unboxing today? Let's have a look. So I picked these up from Zing Pop Culture. I've actually pre-ordered them quite some time ago. But look, they're here now, so I've got them. I have not seen them out of the box. You know me, I like keeping my stuff boxed. This stuff is a statue. You can't see it through the box. It's going to have to come out of the box. So uh, we're going to take a look at these uh, My Hero Academia statues that I picked up. Stanley knife. Boom. Alright, let's have a look at what we're doing here. First, we've got Bakugo. The box, a little bit mangled on the corner. Don't know if I like that, but it's okay because these are going to come out very, very light. So I'm not surprised, I guess, just judging by the weight, why these were a fairly reasonable price. To be honest, I can't actually remember how much these were. Um, I got them at a discount because I know cool people. So I got Bakugo first out of the box. Who's next? Right now, for those who don't watch the show, Bakugo is like the angry one. He wants to be the best, and he's a bit of a dick. Um, you know, to be honest, like I didn't like him to begin with, but after a while he grows on you because he sort of has these character traits where you get used to it. You realize that he's just an angry, angry dickhead. So uh, you sort of forgive him for that because he has, you know, he does a few heroic, has his few heroic moments. So Bakugo, the angry kid. Next is... Ooh. The cool one, Todoroki. Now, the story of me actually discovering this show was a long time ago. I was at a um, at a Woolies. Uh, I was doing some shopping, and I was at the deli ordering some ham or something, right? And the girl behind the counter was looking at me just like, like dreamy, like like I was like I was. It was weird. She's giving me this look, just staring at me. I was like, uh, you alright? She goes to me, do you watch anime? And I was like, not really. And she just goes, you have the same hair as my favorite anime character. At the time I was like, okay. And I never figured it out until my friend Tony said to me, my hero academia, Todoroki, he's got half red hair. That's how I actually discovered the show. I was like, oh, I should check this show out. There's some character with half red hair. Let's check that out. I've been rocking this hairdo for a while. Um, and I absolutely fell in love with this show. Like I said, I've watched many anime. I always give anime a chance. I'm not against it. I actually quite I have a big respect for anime. There's just been not that many shows that really, really appeal to me. I much prefer the comedy type ones over the, you know, let's jump in a big robot suit and attack other people in robot suits kind of thing. Now, my favorite character from a show is actually Deku. I know that's kind of boring because he is essentially the main character. But uh, I guess the reason I like him is because I guess he's the most relatable character in a sense. He's very unsure of himself. He's not the most confident person, but at the same time, he wants to be the best, but he's just always questioning himself. So I guess I, I appeal to, uh, to um, Deku. I don't know how I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna have to take these out of the box. Uh, I might change camera angle. All right, we're gonna go with the order that I uh, pulled them out of the bag. So first we'll go with uh, Bakugo. Like I said, I really didn't like Bakugo in the beginning. Um, but yeah, he has grown on me. He has his moments where you're like, oh, he ain't that bad after all. But, um, and you sort of start finding his anger, his temper to be the humor side of his character. So yes, have uh, respect for Bakugo now. Let's have a look at this. Like I said, he's a very lightweight, so they're not that expensive. Um, but I'm quite keen to uh, see what this looks like. I don't buy this stuff much. Like literally, I'm kind of new to statues and uh, it's a dangerous, dangerous, uh, time for me because I'm scared I'm going to just keep buying these things. Alright, so it's very interestingly packaged. How do I do this? His hands are sticking out of this hole. Ah, I see. A Stanley knife. Boom. Alright. 
All right, let's get Bakugo out of this bag. <sighs> That's pretty cool, man. It looks badass. Okay, so for those who don't know much about My Hero Academia, basically it's a show about people who are born with gifts, like are born with a power essentially. A lot of them can use these powers to become superheroes essentially. That's essentially the gist of it. I think it's like 80% of the world are born with some sort of power. That power can be as simple as jumping high to something really weird, like it's not always useful, but um, then other people obviously want to become heroes with their powers. So Bakugo's power is he can create like crazy explosive stuff with his sweat. So he wears these giant grenade things basically to um, build up sweat and then he can basically release them in giant bursts of explosionness. So yeah, that's Bakugo. I must say he looks radical. <laughs> Amazing. Look at that. Beautiful. And Todoroki next. Stanley knife, boom. Oh no! Imagine I broke him just then, that would have been a laugh, eh? Todoroki. Very popular character, in fact he's one of the most popular. I think when I asked, it's pretty much because he's cool. Um, he has a dad whose special ability is fire. Basically kind of like half made of fire and he can shoot fire. And his mum's special ability was ice. She could turn things into ice. So Todoroki, the reason he's got half red, half white hair is because he um, basically has both of his parents' powers. Half of his body produces hot fire and hot stuff, and the other half of his body produces cold stuff or ice, essentially. So check it out, his stand has uh, this crazy ice coming out of it. Man, he looks cool. These things are cool, man. I'm in trouble. I'm going to keep buying statues and stuff. It's got like a flame coming off his uh, left side of his body because obviously he's the uh, he's got the flat fire coming up from that side and he's got a bit of ice on the bottom of his uh, right boot because obviously the right side of him is uh, ice. Now this has got these little stand bits which I'm not too sure what they do. Where do I put this? How am I supposed to know? <laughs> like they literally don't actually show you a picture of what the thing looks like when it's on a stand. How am I supposed to know? Hmm. I don't know about this, if I've got this right. Can that be right? Boom. Tataroki, look at that. That looks sick as bro. Sick as bro. Uh, now let's go with Deku or Midoriya. He's the main character of My Hero Academia. He's the one getting trained to become the greatest superhero of all time. They're all competing to be the greatest superhero of all time, but Deku wants it more, I reckon. I reckon he wants it more. It's his dream. So Deku, the character actually in the show, he's actually a big fan of superheroes. Like he studies them his whole life. He wanted to actually um, be a superhero his whole life. Now I think at a certain age in uh, this world, this universe, you basically go to the doctor to find out if you have having a are born with a special ability essentially. Now Deku as a kid gets brought to the doctor excited to find out what his power was and he finds out that he's actually one of the 20% um, of humans that didn't get a special ability. So he's absolutely shattered, he dreams of being a superhero his whole life. So they all go to a school called um, UA High uh, and essentially, he's I think the only kid who's ever gone there who doesn't have a special power. However, he ends up getting a special power. But you should watch the show to find out how. Look at him. Look at that. Angry. Look at that. Those are really sick. Look at his face there. Look at his face. Looks sick. <sighs> Absolutely amazing. I love these things. How cool do these guys look? Um, I'm actually really happy I actually picked these up now. They all look excellent. Um, really good price I got for them. And um, holy shit, I still have one more thing to unpack. I just remembered. 
Who are these guys without their teacher, right? Stanley Knife. Boom, Stanley Knife. You know what, I say that Deku is my favorite character because I can relate to him most, but to be honest, I actually think that this guy is the coolest character in the show. I mean, he is the number one superhero in the world. That's what he's known as. He is basically the other star of this show. He is the almighty. All Might. Now the character All Might himself is just an amazing, amazing character. Just always has a smile on his face. Just his voice is amazing. He's just, yeah, I really love the character. He's real funny. He's kind of like the comic relief. Even though he's like, you know, this big bad uh, superhero, he also just sort of has his little dorky side to him as well. Um, yeah, I, I love All Might and uh, everything he's about. Now this All Might is actually from a different um, statue line. These other ones, I think the brand is Bandai, I'm assuming. B-A-N-D-A-I, Bandai. Um, this one looks like it's from Band Presto. Now this one again was very cheap. I think for memory, this one was about $35. Let's check him out. It's gonna look weird because the other guys are actually much bigger than him. Oh my God, it's a headless All Might. He's got no head. He has no head. Well, it's quite bizarre that they make you put his own head on. Haha, -ha, have no fear. The head of All Might is here. Yeah, that was my best All Might impression. Look at this guy, he's jacked as shit. Time for the, uh, what's the opposite of a beheading? Because I'm about to do the opposite of a beheading. <laughs> this is really bizarre. Headless All Might, I almost want to leave him headless. It's just like, yeah, the kids turned on him and cut his head off. Perfect fit. All Might. Look at that. All Might. Amazing. He is absolutely legendary. I cannot get enough of All Might. I could listen to him talk all day. He's such a cool, cool character. Anyway, thanks for watching my unboxing video of my My Hero Academia statues. Um, I'm very happy I got these. They all look absolutely amazing. I just wish All Might was like, you know, maybe up to here. That's my only issue right now because uh, the other kids look really big compared to him. Anyway, thank you for watching. Um, I'll hopefully do some more toy videos as well as my other usual crap, my comic books, my MMA. We'll see what happens. But um, thank you for um, watching if you made it this far. And till next time, keep it simple as always.